I, I first felt a connection with visual imagery and the visual world at the age of, of about five or six. What is beyond the sky was really interesting to me, but it was not something which was discussed in primary school, for example, or in, even in early school. We know intellectually we've put a label on them and called them a cloud, but we have no idea what they really are. During the process of painting, I try and clear myself a kind of channel for the paint to come through onto the picture because your mind is working so incredibly quickly when you're making a painting. It's not particularly meditative, it's not meditating because you're not meditating on anything in particular. The idea is emptiness. It usually takes uh, anything from half an hour to an hour or two. I don't know if that is unusual or if that is usual for creative people. I was always fascinated by by art, by painting and art in its, all its aspects. So creativity really always fascinated me. The craft of painting, I just shut myself away, isolated myself and learnt it. This was a journey which I was on. This was a journey which I needed to take. Every painting has to be built up from a strong foundation. It's like putting a skeleton inside a body, just to hold the painting together. And then you start putting layers and layers of washes of paint on it. I love the process of it. It's the process, it gives you an opportunity to create an environment of stillness. For me, colours operate in the same kind of way as musical notes do. And when you press a certain musical note to create a certain musical sound, it will make you feel different. The subtlety in the relationship between the colours is very important. Why do people receive artworks in the way they do? They bring with them their experiences, their knowledge, or sometimes their lack of knowledge of the visual language. They just look at it and go, that's a pretty picture. Well, that's a decorative image. 
and we, th we assume that people know how to read paintings. Well, they don't. So you, you, you have to give people an opportunity to learn to read the language first. You know, that, that, that is why people just pass by pictures. Perceived as a person who was a bit of a dreamer. Often the teachers early on in school would say, stop looking out of the window. Why are you looking out of the window? The, the cloud quality, there's an impermanence to them. They come very quickly and then they disperse and they change and then they go. And I see that in myself and everything else that is around. We're all constantly in a state of change. And a cloud does that, a cloud manifests that in front of us. Gives you an opportunity to reflect. To make a cloud painting can vary in time from weeks to months. If you think of thunderstorms as darkness, and as human beings, everyone sometime in their life goes through periods of inner darkness. What I'm trying to do in the pictures is to say after that, as the process of going through the inner darkness, they have an opportunity to come out into the light again. is finished and it's revealed, I often feel more connected. And sometimes when, you, when you're in the picture, then you literally become part of that picture. something positive and uplifting in the work. As a personal choice in the images that I create, I want to offer the alternative of the light side. I see them as healing pieces, visual uh, medicine for a sick world at times.
as I take this journey through this life, as we're all taking it, I hopefully become more aware of my true self. The light is a symbol of finding the true self. I see a thunderstorm or something which cleanses, clears the sky. Shortly after, the light comes out and things are clear and bright again. It enables me, when I'm searching for light and being part of light, to embrace every aspect of living. I hope people, when they look at the clouds, celebrate what they've got every single day. And if ever they find themselves mentally in a place where they feel a little bit dark, just look up at the clouds. They're incredibly rejuvenating.